Right, resume. I can just probably start the whole thing again here. Hello, everyone! <laughs> no. Right, so, talk to Joker, that was meaningless. Um, oh, 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 no, conversation. And then we have the conversation, and they talk about this for my... Right, conversation. Time, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. Who from? Is it the Ambassador? It's not his signature, I think it's from the Council. I'll patch it through to the comment. Thanks, Joker. They tell us about Vermeer. I get scared because I do not think it's going to end well. Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. Grand! I'll take all the help I can get. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. Okay, go ahead. I'm listening. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. Sounds serious. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. Thanks for the info. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. We don't want you to go. Oh, I have a codex. I should probably look at that. We don't want you to go. We just want to make you aware that you could well be going. Codex. Ooh, one of these. Pharos, Vermeer is a lush world located on the frontier of the Attican Traverse. Its vast seas and orbital position on the inner life zone have created a wide equatorial band of humid, tropical terrain. Only the political instability of the region has impeded efforts at colonization. Many times the Citadel has opened negotiations to settle Vermeer with various criminal gangs and petty dictatorships in the nearby Terminus systems. All fell apart due to internal power shifts within the opposing parties. The Citadel has written off the colonization of Vermeer as impossible without significant political change. The Terminus powers themselves are unlikely to ever settle Vermeer. Most lack the resources to support settlement of a virgin world, finding it more expedient to steal from their neighbors than build for themselves. Hmm. Right. Nothing. No other codices. Um. So I think I'll talk to. I'll, I'll talk to everyone. Um. But before. Well, I won't talk to Ashley because we know what happens with Ashley. She just goes. Oh, it's the same as last time. Um. Hmm. Ah, loading. <laughs> I don't know why I'm scared of a loading screen. Um. Oh, isn't there someone? Oh, that was just a codex through there. Through that. Um. I might. Ooh, locker. Oh. <gasps> cool. A new sniper rifle. That's. Kind of worse, slightly worse than what I already have. Ah, <laughs> look! I've got a new toy. I've got a new toy. It's worse than I have already. I mean, the shots before are overheating. That's equivalent. That's they're pretty much the same. I think you can pretty much ignore the de uh, anything after the decimal. Really, accuracy. Yeah, I'm all right with that. It, it then it's you're getting to trade offs. Um. But I don't think there's an upper limit on what you can carry on your person. Um, uh, Brain, you 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 knew what you, you were distracted by the locker. Um, there's a codex there. I'm, I'm going to retrace my steps until I work out what I'm doing. Oh, I'm talking to everyone. To see if they've got like side missions, like um, like uh, Rex. Ah, that's what it was. But before I go down where the core was exploding, I will quick save. Hey, Caden, Mr. Boring, no quest, man. <laughs> That's really harsh. Anything you need, Commander? Uh, looking for personal input. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. All right. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. 
I mean, he just seems a bit like. Oh, I, I'm a perfectly ordinary person, and I'm, I'm sure you, you'd have people like that in the military, just like, yeah, I'm just getting on with everything. I haven't got any crises of conscience or conscience or crises, crises at home or what were you doing? But he's just kind of like, oh, I'm, I'm perfectly fine, Iliara. You all right? I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Investigate. Uh, no, I don't. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I could have said nothing important, I suppose. Ooh, let's let's try that. Hello again. Bother, bother, bother. <laughs> uh, he's an idiot. I get the me feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Okay, nothing important. I just wanted to talk. Fair enough. What did you want to talk about? Oh, I didn't want to talk about anything. I, go. I was Goodbye, right first. I was right first time. Um, okay. So I think it's just Rex because Garrus is, is um, there. We've already got his um, side thing. And I think what we'll end up doing is we'll we'll do one of these side quests. Probably go and save Gareth. Gareth, because it's got an O, but Gareth. It's just easier. Um, I live by the Welsh border, actually, so... Or I, I live by Wales. Um, um, so I, I, I know people called Gareth. Um, uh, yeah, so I'll do the side quest, that side quest, the, the privateers, the pirates, and then um, if this actual time... Because this says, like, re race against time, I don't know. And I'm worried that that's, like, a legitimate race against time thing, so I, I will... I will um, I would like input on whether that's a proper race against time or a, a game um, race against time. Because I kind of, I want to kind of, I, I just do side quests. For those of you who have seen my, watch my other Let's Plays, it, it's what I do, is I just do all the side quests. Because that levels me up. I don't know if the game levels up, but it also means I've got more practice in kind of shooting and knowing what to do. Um, and also it kind of, it, it, I know some of these have impacts on the story, so I Rex. Sure. Uh, family. You must have family other than your father. Don't you miss them? You're trying to make me cry, Shepard. I've got some unfinished business with my family, but that's all. Ooh, really? What kind of business? <sighs> Before I left, I made an oath to my father's father. I swore to recover my family's battle armor. It was taken from him after the uprising. And that question is kind of a bit silly because it, it, it's it's an heirloom. Because it, it, yeah, well, no, I'll still ask actually. What's so important about this armor? It's a relic, useless really. But it was worn by five generations of my family before the war. It's rightfully mine. Yeah, heirloom. Originally, it was taken by the Turian military. We weren't allowed armor or weapons after the war. Now, it's in the hands of Ton Actus, a Turian scum who collects relics from the war. He's made millions selling Krogan artifacts that were stolen from my people. He's got <laughs> several bases where he stores his goods, all fortified and guarded. I just don't know which base has my family's armor. I'll look for it. Just tell me where to start looking. I'll upload the data to your nav system. But Commander, I want to be there when you find him. Very good. So long, Rex. Stealing... Stealing other civilizations... Artifacts? <laughs> the jury's sounding more and more British all the time. Um... Um... Good. You're not experimenting on the core anymore. Wonderful. I wonder why that happened. 